Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever <laughs> time of day you're watching this. I am Steven. This is my wife, Lauren. And we are SNL. You are watching Thriving Thursday. Clearly delirious from all this isolation. Hey, well. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Welcome back to Thriving Thursday. I hope that you're ready. Cause I know I'm ready. Are you ready? You know, I don't know. You, I don't you don't know. know if you're ready. I but we're, <laughs> we're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the both of us. Okay, here we go. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. We're on week four, people. Week four. It's been 28 days. 28 days that our children have been home. What would we do? That's creepy. We're on week four of our children <laughs> being home. Um, in the past few weeks. I think I have made a mistake of comparing this to homeschooling. I'm going to change that right now and for the record say that this is more like public schooling online, impromptu public schooling online because wow, there was a steep learning curve that first week. So what we're going to talk about this week are some of our best practices and maybe some of the things that we've learned along the way. Our worst practices? <laughs> yeah. Some of the things we learned along the way for, you know, the past four weeks, 28 days. Who's counting? Apparently you. <laughs> I didn't know it was that long. <laughs> so, without further ado, our best practices for, well, pretty much staying at home and sheltering in place with, with, during COVID-19. With kids. Four kids. We have four kids. Did you kids. say hundreds of kids? <laughs> I was going to say what? Four sometimes feels like hundreds. Oh my god. They gosh. make a lot of noise. <laughs> they do make a lot of noise. I'll give you that one. They're loud. Anyway, what's, what, is your, what do you think is your number one or one of your tips? I want to say it's, it's prayer. Oh my gosh. Lots of prayer. Um, it's going to be prayer, spending time with God, um, getting into your word, reading your Bible. When I say getting into your word, that's what I mean. Reading the Bible. Um, finding passages. Sometimes I can just go in and just read something and it could, you know, God could really speak to me through that. And then there are times like I really need something. For, I need God to speak to me. And so I'll intentionally look for something in the Bible that maybe uh, talks about something I'm dealing with or find a character in the Bible um, that talks about uh, they're going through something difficult or challenging when I'm going through a difficult or challenging situation like right now. Like you know, having peace transition. or what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, it could be okay. having peace, but really like getting through difficult and challenging situations and seeing uh, people in the Bible, characters in the Bible, and relating to, okay, you know what? Paul went through a really difficult time being in prison unjustly. You know, he was unjustly arrested and put in prison. They didn't know he was a Roman citizen initially. You know, they exported him to Rome, this but God had Bible a plan. Study. Well, God had a plan. He, he wanted <laughs> uh, Paul to go to Rome because he wanted him to speak to the Romans. And so okay, I know this, that opened up an opportunity. Apparently you've been... I feel like we should have one of the Thursday be Stephen preaching Thursday. Because that's like, <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't really fair, but um, my mom got stuck here. We'll say she cho she came to visit for spring break to help me out because I started a new job. And then um, she kind of got stuck here because it was really bad in New York. And so we didn't think it was good for her to go. And so we have three adults, which is more helpful. Three so three to four as opposed to two to four ratio. But I think um, lowering expectations <laughs> is what, because I keep thinking that like we can do all the assignments and even giving them breaks every 15 minutes because we have some kids that have some extra needs. So they need attention is, is a problem. And um, yeah, so we try to give them extra breaks. But some days just like, we've got to take a completely like we need to stop schooling for that day because um, like Steven's only in third grade, but he has a lot of work. Yes. And I think 
um, it started getting to him this week. <laughs> like, yeah. All of our kids have had a part, part where like they just lost their mind. And I was telling Steven because we used to do, um, I used to do like affirmations with them in the mirror. And I was like, get in, get in the mirror so I can tell you good things about yourself so I can remind you and my, me. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. But um, that was just a joke. But I didn't say that to them. I was, I, I was thinking it though. Anyway, so expectations. I think also, um, like I'm teaching our kids math the old way. I don't know. I don't understand the math the new way. They have them do all these things. But then Stephen winds up doing the math, and I wind up doing the English. Yeah. So that's the other thing, right? Strengths. Yeah. So if I you, mean, if you happen to be able to be sharing it with someone, I guess. Yeah, if, exactly. If you <laughs> happen to have another adult, if you're lucky enough, um, or if you have like older children that can help with the younger children's homework, um, play off of your strengths. Uh, if you know someone that's good at math, if one of you is good at math. If you're both good at math, great, but if you know, one of you is good at math, then maybe that one does more of the math homework. It's not that the other one can't help out with math. It's just yeah. when it comes more natural to one parent or to, you know, to one um, guardian, I think it makes it, it makes, it eases some of that stress and some of that frustration. Cause well, you think third grade math is not that hard, but then, or even second grade math, but then they want them to do it a different way than I learn, learned in school. Yes, and <laughs> one of my frustrations with this, and for all the teachers out there, especially if it's any of my children's teachers watching this, this <laughs> is not against you. I'm not going to say your name because I don't want anybody to think negatively of you. Um, one of my frustrations is the fact that uh, they're being forced to do all the math problems in multiple ways. I'm like, when we find one that works for my student, let's stick with that one because they've found a way to reach the answer but they want them to work out multiple different ways to open up creativity and show them that there's more than one way to well, solve a problem. I mean, that's fine if that's what they're doing, but like, we're not equipped, apparently. <laughs> I don't feel equipped No, to and that's why I said I had we to stop comparing teachers. it. Yeah, we need the <laughs> teachers. I had to stop comparing it to homeschooling because all my homeschool families out there, hey, kudos to you. You were ahead of the power curve for an incident like this. I mean, no one was expecting a crisis like this to happen, but you were, you were ahead of it. Um, this is uh, to everyone else out there that's not homeschool and i would say this is more like public schooling online um, because the, yeah homeschool they choose their curriculum um there's there's more uh choice and options available to them for us we're really trying to learn the curriculum that our uh, teachers have already uh, endorsed or had endorsed and now we're trying to figure out what they're doing in the classroom and so they, that we can do it with our students yeah. <laughs> and it might it may be different. It may be like they had to come, you know, contingency plan because in person exactly. they might have had. But no, for the most part, they're really good with like emailing and you know helping. And I think the, actually the most frustrating thing is the technology because everyone's yes. on the same platforms and they always seem to freeze and then like not submit and then we have to be like, oh, we did that like three times or we can't get back in there. Yeah. And so the teachers have been really understanding of that, but it's stressful because our kids are like. I don't want you as a teacher. <laughs> what, did, what, did, um, what was John saying? Like, I don't like when you're teaching. Oh, when you're he, teaching? He's like, I don't, I don't want you to, something about, um, I want to be in school with that teacher. When, when I'm here, I just want you to be, you know, my mom or something like that. Yeah, like, he, didn't, he didn't like her having the dual hats <laughs> on. Not teacher and mom. You uh, just, please, just stick like, with mom. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn things from you. I'm like, hey, you learn from things from me anyway. But anyway. Yeah. So another one of our best practices, trying to make sure that we're meet, meeting each child's needs. So each of our, our kids, we have four, um, eight, seven, four, and three, and our three-year-old's our daughter. Yeah, so that's another thing because only two of our kids are actually in school, but the other two are running, running, <laughs> running amok while <laughs> they're trying to school, so they're being loud, and we have headphones and stuff, but they're just like, blah, we're inside, I don't know just being crazy and they were supposed to spark, start preschool yeah um right the the week that this happened the, the they shut down yeah. uh, our, our city our but, town shut down they were supposed to start preschool so but i think i mean i've also tried to do some schooling for them but you know obviously i have stuff that they can do but they don't always want to sit and then what wind up happens now usually is my mom will take them upstairs so they can play and kind of entertain them so we can try to do one-on-one -on -one with our kids we're lucky enough to be able to do that because it seems like if you're not there with them, they just get focused on other things. Like 
our one son, the one app they use, it's like all he wants to do is change the fonts and the yes. different colors. It's like each and it's like letter. twenty minutes, and I'm like, no, you just have to write what it says to write. Yeah. So that's you know the frustration. It's like each letter and I'm is sure a different this is frustrating for color. teachers too. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Absolutely, but, um, I would think so. What other, What else? Um, I would say all. Uh, oh, okay, here it is. If you don't have your pen out yet, get it now. Really? Pause this video and get your pen, and then come back. Okay, here is a really big one. Organization and planning. Oh. You have to be organized. I'm not going to say you have to be. We have to be organized, and we, we need a plan. We needed a plan because we went the first week, and we're just kind of shooting from the hip. It's like, oh, this is what the teachers gave us um, to just kind of make sure that they're staying fresh, and we'll just go ahead and just try to implement well, some of it. Like extended spring break. Yes. And then the, the second. And then the second week was when they said, okay, this is official. We are going to be uh, public school from home. Yeah. No, 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 no. These are the online Working formats. Working out the kinks. Yes. And then the third week, by the third week, when they were just doing the assignments, it was like, ah, it seems like so many, no like, 70 notifications. Yeah. Um, I, look, I logged in today, <laughs> and one of our sons had 99 notifications. I was like, oh, my gosh. No! 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 But 99. Them, <laughs> that's overwhelming number. Some of them, when the teacher grades them, then that's they correct. or they yeah. give them responses. But, yeah, it's like, what is happening? And I do um, appreciate that, teachers out there. <laughs> um, if you're watching this, one of my sons, we really do appreciate that. You actually, they go in and they actually yeah. end it. They... For each individual assignment, they were marking something. They liked uh, the, the assignment that they turned in because some of them are like videos or audio recordings yeah. of the assignment so for different learning And John types. really likes that. Like yeah, learning. instead of always having to type it out, mm -hmm. they get to do a video or write it. So I think that's also pretty cool. He likes cool. Pro projects and stuff, yeah. yeah. I mean, our kids are younger, so they might be able to be a little more creative then. <laughs> yeah, and they also but, um, like give like these encouraging messages because one of the assignments that he turned in, she had like a whole paragraph message where she just, you know, was very encouraging and, and supportive of how he had done yeah. his assignment. So, you know, thank you. We you always know, appreciate the teachers, teachers so I think this is made everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about organizing and planning. We started making Central. lists of stuff. Yes. Because our kids also take like, vitamins and up. supplements. We even did that list. So like, it wasn't confusing. Yeah. Like, did you give them? Because usually yeah. when you were going to school, it was just me giving like all the vitamins and supplements the that they need. So. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, that's, that yeah, was like kind of confusing. Yeah. Did you give it to them? Did you not? Hey. I don't know. So then we do, then we have a list now. Yes. So we Check. have a list <laughs> for each child what vitamins or medicine medications they get in a, when they get it. What's it called? We put it in a document protector. We yeah. wrote it up, put it in a document protector, and we just use a dry erase marker every morning yeah. to, to check it off and erase it. And then we got a board also that we use for the kids' schoolwork. I think yeah, it's a, dry, it's a white dry erase board. So we have yeah. it split in the middle, and then it's like, this is the math, English, whatever you have to do. Yeah. I did it for the week, but Stephen was saying that was overwhelming Yeah, last week, like we were talking about how many assignments they are getting. <laughs> I was like, that's overwhelming. So just daily. So yeah, just this week we're going to, today, because today was the first day yeah. I tried it. Today I just tried, let's just try it daily and see how that goes. For me, it, it felt less overwhelming trying to plan my day yeah. to, to assist in, in their and education the, as and well. And the teachers did send us a thing about like assignments only being like 15 minutes at a time, but like it takes our kids so long to complete stuff because attention and focus is like a deal. So, so um, with the organization and planning, uh, like I said, we, we had a plan. Uh, we looked at what their assignments were going to be so we can write those down um, so that way we could have a little bit of a head start. And then we prepped. Uh, while they were eating breakfast and when they after, after breakfast, we do a Bible study with the kids um, We try to do that every day and then uh, Doing their Bible study kind of giving a little more free time because I was still setting stuff up because technology Yeah, we're trying to give them that like gym time or something kind yeah, of like something active. Them, yeah, yeah it's, So it's easier when it's not raining, but just set up things sometimes we have them do like dancing like just yeah. dance or like just dance, put on music and have them dance Or we should get out your the football group thing yeah, my rope ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had them do exercises, push-ups, sit-ups, jumping yes. jacks. We have a little trampoline that they do. What else? Oh, they have a tumble mat. Mm-hmm. Now they have the the boa. The Is it called boa? Yes. Yes, it's a boa. Uh, like a punching bag kind of thing that goes back up and down. Yeah. Anyway, so... And that's actually why we got this, or how we got this idea to this video for all of you. Uh, on best practices because it was taking some of the things that we were looking at every week 
and saying, okay, this isn't working. Yeah. Um, we were starting to feel like we were feeling some burnout, each two, of us. Yeah, you two know. or three days ago, like, just crying because overwhelmed and then, like, hiding in, my cl- in the closet because it was just like, ah, no one's listening. And then, you know, the kids, they're stressed because they kind of don't understand. I mean, we yeah. try to explain to them. We even... But it's hard for them too, you know. Yeah, they don't they don't see their friends, so they're like bickering and fighting, and who's pushing who, who's hitting who, you know. Yeah. Typical stuff, but just it seems amplified. to be amplified. <laughs> yeah, when we're not doing proper self care. It amplifies, which of course, as you know, we did a video on self care during this time yep. frame. So it just goes to show you that we're also human. That sometimes we forget to do these things, which is why um, I like to go back every once in a while and I'll watch some of these videos to remember some of the tidbits that we share with others. <laughs> you so watch I can, our videos. Yeah, so I, I, I can, hey, I need to make sure because I don't want to forget something. I'm like, oh funny. man, you know what? I did say that. I told folks that they should do this and they should do that. That'd be really helpful. Anything so let else? me make sure I remember to do it. Just give yourself grace and get, yes. try to give your kids grace too, I think. Trying to do better about that. And then also, we were trying to um, carve out time, like he was saying, um, carve out time to do things with our kids like see when he likes Lego so just try to um, just make it special time where it's just him because it's usually like all of them all four so, yeah usually all um, four kids and like when the bigger boys are in school we could do individual time with the little kids easier you can plan your days out however works best for your schedule um, if you're a working parent and you're having to work from home right now uh, maybe plan your days out on Eating based on yeah you know maybe you're doing school at night you know with your kids you know your kids are, are up in the evening anyway so you choose the evening to do school with them or you do their their schooling in early in the morning before you start your day at work uh, or your your day at home working so do you find what works for you um, and you might have to try multiple times you know different things because that's what we did we tried different things try school in the afternoon and that was chaotic so we're like nope we gotta keep it in the morning <laughs> when we have their the most of their attention and then you notice um, like john takes a nap almost every day he must be exhausted in school because he naps every day yeah so it's so. <laughs> it's finding what works for you for your family for your students um and if you don't have students or uh, in a, a big family or whatever it's just you and your you know maybe significant other um you know find what works for you for y'all to to make sure that you're giving yourselves time to take care of yourself <laughs> as well as get some of your responsibilities done because we know that that's also necessary. Um, we did talk about the medication that was part of our plan. We also did uh, a meal plan. I, I turned it out. A, um, I found a thing on Pinterest. I, again, I can share this guy with y'all. Um, I found a, a nice little chart where they had done the days of the week and then they had a grocery list to, to the opposite side. And so it allowed you to come up. We came up, sat down and came up with meal plans. You know, who's going to cook what and what we're going to have for that the, that dinner or yeah. lunch, or whatever. And then, um, you know, groceries, items, so we know what additional things we need to make sure we can make those meals, um, which it helps when you when you plan it and, and you plan and you yeah. prep in advance. It helps because it I mean, just alleviates some of those you know issues. I think before because the kids were, you know, eating lunch at school and, and most times breakfast because. You know, um, we, I was meal planning, but it was different when everyone came home. There's more f- people to feed, and then there was so much stuff going on that it was like, what's going on for dinner tonight? And just being like, ah. Yeah, so, and I would add to that, having them home all day they eat changed. So yeah, it we changed have, up. Oh, did I, do we share about the boxes that we do? No, not yet. We, that, um, just go ahead. No, that's, that's good. That's part of our... Sna- I don't know. I'm, I think my friend Elena shared this thing um, where the mom had like um, snack bins for each kid for the day because they just snack all day and yeah. they're always like they're hungry and I'm like I know in school you do not get to have this many snacks or stop eating but I'm hungry so we have this thing and sometimes I will put a little more in the afternoon time because I was trying to fill it up for the whole day but like the little kids were just eating everything in the morning yeah time and they're and not really time. having lunch <laughs> And so um, sometimes I just do like the morning and then fill it up in the um, afternoon time and I'll have like, you know, it might be goldfish, um, apples, Apple, orange, graham crackers, yeah, whatever. Raisins. So different things. So they can just go, stop asking me for a snack all the time. And when it's their break time, it's supposed to be that they can have a snack if they want and all that stuff. So. Yeah. And what we try to do is so when the times that they're allowed to have a snack, we try to have the bins filled and, and out for them on the countertop. So if they want a snack, Okay, you can just go get it. They don't have to stop and keep asking a, 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 a parent to stop Maybe whatever they're doing. Minutes. Yeah, to stop and go get them a snack. And you know, then, oh, I see, they have a snack. I want a snack. So, and yeah. then. So then it's, yeah. hey, 
here's your snack bin. When it's when it's gone, it's gone. You, if you eat it all up before so we, lunch, then we have that's like it little plastic lunch. containers. I don't yes, know what they're to call like them. little like almost like they're like large Tupperware or like uh, plastic bins, little tubs that you get from like Walmart kinda or something like, like a that. Shoe, or Dollar shoe, Tree shoe box size, like yeah that. We just we put like you said granola bars things like that. We we put their snacks and then also if you have some snacks that had to be refrigerated like yogurt or something we just we put a little piece of paper in it that said like yogurt so they could like redeem it and then I just put the paper back in like the next day. Yeah. So See, so just being creative and and trying Mm -hmm. to use ideas. These are some other things that helped us with our kids. Like I said, we got four, so we feel like we have like almost a basketball team right now. (laughs) That's why I said a hundred kids. (laughs) Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, these are some yeah. things that, that really worked out for us um, for cleaning. Same thing, you know, just chores in general. The kids yeah. have a chore chart that they can, there are certain chores that they can get paid to do. And then there are certain chores they have to do because they're part of the family. Oh, yes. So, so they we have the routine of them getting dressed and, mm-hmm. you know. I printed, I went online mm-hmm. and printed out a, a little cartoon sheet. I, I've seen this in, in their different teachers' classrooms. So that's what kind of gave me the idea to keep it animated and fun. So I, I found all these little um, cartoons uh, looking characters doing different things they're supposed to do, like brush their teeth, Washing make their, their hands bed, after wash their the hands after they go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, go to the bathroom, flush, wipe, you know, all that, or wipe and flush and all that. So you think they would know this by then? Yeah. So that was uh, yeah, that was one of the things that helped us stay organized with like having a morning routine when they get up in the morning, knowing what to do. Yeah, like a new routine because yeah. new things. And then an evening routine. Um, for getting ready for bed as well so those transitions go a little bit smoother like Lauren was saying about you know giving yourselves grace giving your your family members grace that are with you um, be flexible you know you're, you can have a schedule you can make a plan and it, it's great to be it's going to help you uh, it helps me like alleviate some stress knowing what's going to happen next it helps the kids too I think. and I'm going to say it, it presents a new norm for the kids so that they know what to expect and that can kind of help bring down some of their anxieties as well but then on top of that, be flexible because some things that happen, like um, we were using one of the apps, Canvas or the other app, Seesaw, and something will happen and the, it'll stop working or our, our home internet will go down and, yeah. and we don't have any connectivity. <laughs> so like, you know what? We're not gonna do the maximum amount of schooling right now. Like we're just, let's we'll see what we can get done and then we're just gonna move on with the rest <laughs> of our day. We'll tackle it again tomorrow. And yeah. sometimes you have to do that. Assess your kids' needs individually. Oh yeah, sometimes like I the, on one of the days like when it first started happening, we had it. They just had like a big big feeling, so like they weren't wanting to concentrate on that because they're like just dealing with whatever, not seeing their friends or whatever. Yeah. So sometimes they just need more breaks. Some days, right? Some days it seems like they're breaking every ten minutes. But this is gonna take literally eight to ten hours just <laughs> because it's. It is a challenge, <laughs> so. yeah. But that that was something that and we sometimes decided. we need a break. Sometimes I call it break because yeah. I'm like, <laughs> so then I go and take my breathing, my deep breaths in my closet. Put on your meditation, <laughs> or you hop on the gym bay and start jamming uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what is it? Were you in Jumanji or something? What is going on here? I walk in the closet. So my wife is in the closet. She's praising and worshiping God on the gym bay. I'm like, okay, well. All right then, That's I, embarrassing. but at least I know what this drumming is. Come here, dum, 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 dum. Come on, <laughs> no, I've seen Jumanji, both of them, and I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Your mom no. was freaking out too. She's like, "Do you hear that?" I'm like, "Hear what?" She's like, "Dum, dum, dum, dum." <laughs> do you hear that? I, I do. I'm just hoping that it's just my imagination because this is not Jumanji. That's so embarrassing, though. Um, yeah, I, I think that was it. I think we've hit just about everything we can think of for now, yep. as far as best practices. Um, we don't want to hold you up too long in your, your thriving your Thursday. That's yes, the best wash your hands. And my wife literally on. came over and put wash, lotion on my lotion. Hands. <laughs> lotion. It was lotion. <laughs> She literally came over and put lotion on my hands right before, or correction, right as we started recording. I had to edit it out. (laughs) Hey guys, we want to thank you so much for continuing to support us, for continuing to hang in there. All right? Um, We're doing life together, and we just really appreciate all that you guys are doing. Um, Our first responders, our military, we know that you guys are working hard. Yes, I, I'm not trying to leave anybody out. Yeah. Um, I, think right. this is a, I hope they don't think this is a bad on them because it wasn't. No, not at all. I was telling how, how much we appreciate our teachers. They do an out, outstanding job. Yeah, we just we really appreciate you guys and all that you're doing. So, there's a couple things I want to bring up to you. Remember to hit the like and the share. 
That's right, we're back to that one. Hit the like and the share right in front of me. No, don't click on the actual cloud in front of me. Okay. I kid, I kid. You're actually gonna hit the like or the share down below. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like. If you don't like it, you can send me a message. I actually don't mind reading it. Um, just wanna know. I'm gonna shut your mouth. <laughs> you know, share if you you know if you feel like this can encourage someone else or give them some ideas. Please feel free to share it. Um, we're making a public uh, video for a reason. We'll make sure that you guys have the opportunity to share it. And really, we're just really grateful for you know where God has brought us and what God is allowing us to do. And that's that's minister together and, and being able to share um, our lives with you to hopefully make your lives better. Got anything else, Lord? All right, until next time, keep thriving.